Hello, welcome back, Fred in the Shed One, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at this BHI noise elimination module. Now you've probably heard of BHI before, uh, they're more sort of more popular really uh, for their sort of range of inline noise cancellation speakers. Um, yeah, these sort of products have been very, very popular in ham radio for many, many years now. Um, they're sort of starting to filter down now to uh, sort of more common CB radio. Quite a few people on the 305 group, for example, have got the little noise cancellation speakers. I've gone for the noise elimination sort of module here. They do a range of these. Um, I'll go through the sort of features of this particular one sort of in a moment. Um, if you want to go a little bit more upmarket from that, they also do desktop modules as well, which are pretty cool. And uh, they, they actually have features such as equalization to adjust the sound level and uh, even Bluetooth as well. Obviously the price goes up, you know, they, these things aren't particularly cheap, uh, not CB prices anyway. Um, but uh, there you go, there is a whole range of uh, sort of stuff that you can find on the BHI website. I'm not, I'm not being sponsored by the way, this is, you know, all out of my own pocket. I'm not sort of, I'm just saying there is sort of quite a bit on there. Um, other things they have on there as well, they have sound files on site which allow you to sort of, you know, hear the different sort of modules working and you can sort of judge for yourself the noise cancellation sort of capabilities. Uh, and finally, if you know, if, if you are perhaps um, sort of able to do it, they, they do actual little tiny sort of circuit board modules that you can fit inside your, your own existing radios. This is more kind of HF gear really. Uh, but also extension speakers, if you've got a really nice sort of Yaesu or sort of Kenwood extension speaker, you can then put that module inside. Um, it's a bit beyond what I could probably do, um, so, so I, I've gone for the uh, inline, inline dual inline module. Okay, just going to sort of quickly run through this and just take you through some of its capabilities. Right, stop, 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 going to edit in here because I just remembered that I made a little unboxing video for Fred in the Shed 2. For those of you that follow Fred 2, my apologies, you've already seen it, but for those people on Fred 1, I thought I would put this into the video. So here it is, this is what comes uh, in the box from BHI, I think it's nicely packed in sort of white box. And then we've got the module itself. I was quite surprised. It's quite lighter than I thought it would be. I imagine this could be made out of sort of a tin out of steel, but it's uh, a nicely formed plastic. Very nicely printed. Everything sort of clearly laid out. I say this is the dual in line module, so you can have two inputs and also two outputs. The little pots here are very nicely sort of controlled, simple on off switch. You've got the connections there on the top there, 3.5 uh, jacks all round and then a headphone jack on the, uh, on the side. And uh, yeah, say so the pot's very nice, and sort of, you know, very nice and linear. It looks all very nicely sort of made. Um, so not cheap, but uh, certainly a very nice sort of looking product. Now, I was a bit surprised because also in the box, you do get a number of leads. Now, firstly, you get a power supply lead. This will go to a 12 volt uh, sort of standard power supply. They do not recommend that you use the same one as your radio in case you get some RF sort of, sort of feedback. So you might need a separate supply. Uh, also there, there is uh, some jack leads. I really thought I was going to have to buy these, so quite surprised to get them. You get a 3.5 to 3.5 stereo jack lead, and then probably the more important one is the 3.5 to 3.5 mono, and this will fit into the back of an extension speaker socket on a CB radio. Finally, nice to see some very clear, precise English English instructions, none of this sort of pigeon English that you get from sort of China, which I do find a little bit uh, annoying. So very, very nice and sort of laid out. Everything's described here. Don't ask me how this how this filter works. Technically, I've got no idea, but uh, it does work. I can sort of tell you that. But uh, so nice to get that. So in firstly, the, the module uses 3.5 millimeter mono or stereo sort of connections. Now, what I've got here is the say it's joining line. You've got two different inputs that you can put into this uh, elimination module here so you can basically run two different radios uh, and then sort of mix between the between the two of them you've then got three outputs you've got a stereo line output which you can run into a amplifier perhaps for some sort of you know stereo speakers or maybe you can run that into a mixer and into your existing sort of sound system You've got a seven seven watt mono speaker output as well, so you can run that in just into sort of a passive normal um, sort of speaker, and it's got this has got a little seven watt sort of amplifier, which is sort of plenty. And then finally, um, along along with all that, you've got a three point five stereo headphone jack. So uh, what you can effectively do with this is you can run the, the uh, from the radio, you can run in through the module, run it into a speaker, and then you can monitor it yourself 
with your with a set of headphones um, which, which again you know is if, if like me you sort of have suffer with some hearing issues for example um, you'll probably be using headphones all the time and I think that's quite useful um, you know for example if you have sort of maybe I don't know um, we're using this at some sort of you know demonstration or sort of club event or, or training or something like that then you can have the uh, sort of you know radio sound coming out the speaker and then you can sit there and uh, sort of communicate you know with, with the sort of headphones um, well, what else can I say about it? it uh, the operation of the noise, noise, noise cancellation itself, the DSP filter, you've just got a simple rotary control. It's stepped from uh, off to uh, sort of settings there of number eight, and that gives you between eight and 40 decibels of noise cancellation, which is sort of, you know, quite strong. Um, I've been using this a few times this week. I personally found that I haven't sort of needed to crank it right up to the higher settings. I've found it works best probably around about sort of three and four. Um, I'll, I'll do some sort of de demos uh, in a minute. But basically, anyway, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to connect this up to a radio. I'm, I'm not going to use any of the uh, sort of HF gear. I'm going to sort of stick with um, just a sort of sort of CB type, so you know maybe sort of 10, 10 meter sort of type radios. So I think the first radio um, I'll try it on will be the uh, Superstar 6900M because that is a very, very popular starting radio and it's the one that I generally recommend if people ask me, you know, what radio to start with. So we'll set it up on there, um, get a few people on and we sort of do some listening and then I'll sort of uh, be able to switch this on and off and you should hopefully be, uh, be able to hear so the sort of difference. So what you want to look for, as I, as I play the video, um, when the, both of these LEDs come on, when you see the green light on, that's when the filter is active. And obviously, when the green light goes off, it's uh, it's not on. I'm going to keep the uh, the filter level quite low. Um, I find it works probably best on my setup at number two or number three. If I crank it right away round, it uh, it will block out some of the distant stations, and everyone starts to sound a little bit sort of like a robotic sort of sort of voice. So that's what we're going to do. As I say, just keep an eye on those uh, those little two lights. Two lights on, one light is off. Germany and that's just like falling off a log, you know, the rest of Europe. 
Uh, but I think the best one I had uh, was Canada. Uh, and when I saw the little uh, signal on the waterfall turn up, repeating my call sign and where it was, so I was blown away by that. Uh, but there you go, anyway, I won't bore everyone with, uh, with them. That's where we'll all end up on them, and we'll have better hear each other. But I'm about to work a bit of skip, though. How you been then, Robbie? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. I'm fine. I've just got that bloody awful noise that keeps coming up. But I think I've located it. Um, I just need to be sure. So, I think there's only two hours as it could be. And whatever it is, they've got it in the garage. And I think it might be a battery charger. Oh, I've got the um, compressor on a fresh freezer. That can also do it as well. Yeah, anything could do it, but it's just a weird one, it's not consistent, it's, it, it's, it's like, you know, intermittent, so, uh, you know, with seconds varying. Right, there you go. Um, I hope that demonstrated the product as I was sort of hearing it. Um, hopefully it did. So I think it works very, very well. It certainly does what it says it's going to do. It, no it eliminates that uh, sort of background hiss, that background kind of phasing and out of pop and crackle. Helps a little bit with QRM. It's not a miracle cure. I mean, if you're suffering from a high level of QRM noise, it's not going to completely eliminate it entirely, but it will certainly help you. Um, now for my station, with this uh, 6900 and also bearing in mind my hearing which is uh, slightly defective anyway so this might not be the same for everyone um, local local signals anyone that was coming in like Robbie and awesome well awesome Dave doesn't count but <laughs> he's too close but Dave 061 coming in about sort of you know six to seven uh, pounds there on the meter s67 it completely removed the uh, background hiss so they were coming in very much like sort of dab radio the sort of intermediate signals, certainly uh, Steve 318 Mobile there, coming in round about sort of, you know, fours to fives and sixes. Um, it worked really, really well, actually. Just kept the level quite low. I, I think less is more, in, in, you know, for me. Just kept it on two or three. And it took a lot of that sort of hissy phasing phase out that you get, certainly with a mobile station. Cleaned up the audio, helped me hear it better, which is what I was hoping it was going to do. And yeah, worked really, really well. Kept that on all the time. For me, with the uh, distance station, on the 6900 like Eric for example Eric comes in he generally just about breaks through the noise level it did work it did take a lot of the sort of background hiss out but it also on the distant stations it did make Eric a little bit quiet so okay, once again you know bear in mind I've got hearing issues but then I had to sort of crank up the volume on the radio to get Eric up to a comfortable level that I could hear which was fine but then uh, what happened when I was on a net or a group and we had lots of more local stations when they came on it was blast. It was blasting my ears off. So I was having to um, ride the volume level there for the uh, the distant stations, and I, that started to get a little bit tiring. So for the distant stations, when Eric and that was on, I just switched the unit off, and I just took Eric's audio, you know, with the hiss. I, I just thought that it was too much effort riding the volume novel. Uh, sorry, riding the volume uh, level there. So yeah, you know, overall. It gets the thread in the shed thumbs up. It's not cheap, of course. This stuff, you know, isn't especially CB prices. It's not cheap. Um, I got the dual line, inline one here, of course. I've got two inputs coming in two inputs going out that's purely because i want to maybe make some videos with this in the future and i need an input for my sort of uh, microphone so you can hear my voice and then you need an output for the camera and uh, also for headphones so i can hear what's going on um, most likely you wouldn't be interested in this particular model i think the little extension speaker is absolutely perfect if you're going to run it on a cb radio or one of these sort of uh, 10 meter converted radios and uh, yeah they've got a headphone socket as well so you can use headphones when you want it but i think those little speakers you know you can adjust the level line input and also what well, a filter input output sorry um i think they're you know absolutely fine and also a little bit cheaper as well than the inline modules so uh, that helps okay i'll leave a link to the bhi website in the description so you can you know go away but as for now, as uh, always, a big thumbs up for your view time. It's most welcome. If you haven't already done, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and you'll know when I'm putting up a new video in the future. But as for now, as always, take care, look after yourselves, and of course, stay safe, and I'll catch you all on the next one.